Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add live to your girl tag fan game. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's live. I think. But what it is, it's basically a um, camera mod, like quest cam or normal. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's got a um, dashboard.live.tv slash dev. Create a new organization and create a new game on the fan. And right here is the LVL live create a kit or live or whatever that is I don't know um this sample project this is our tracking id don't leak it this is blurred but you know don't give it to anybody but you agree to these and not removing the logo not varying with telemetry or using the latest major minor version 1x of lck click download the sdk so i'm just going to download you guys as you can see it's called lck in this now all you want to do is go to your project in Unity Hub, right click on the three dots, go to show on explorer, open your game on here, so double click, go to um, packages, then you want to go to your downloads first, then go to LCK and see where it says this, you want to drag it into your packages, just this, so you want to, either you can copy it, and then go back to your packages and paste it. Go back to Unity and it should be loaded and you should have no errors. If you do, join the live Discord of mine. New one to see if you guys get any errors. And you should have this at the top. This is just all this. Um, if you open settings, this is your trigger enter tag. Um, what this is, is this is your tag for your game and everything. You know? So for example, um, Mine's hand tag, so you just do that. And then you want to go to your packages. Go to runtime, prefabs, and you'll find this. This one is for Ray Interactors, which I wouldn't recommend this one, but you can. But first thing to do is drag in the LCK service helper. And mine's in managers. And basically, my frame rate, frame rate is 60. Don't mess with any of these settings. You can if you want, but don't. And mine's 60, but it's usually 30. Now you will drag the LCK tablet for direct, for direct, and if you guys want a tutorial, a tutorial on the um, Ray Interactor one, just let me know. And yeah, so drag this one in, and it should look like this right here. And then <clears throat> that's really it. That's what you really got to do. Um, don't mess with any of the XR interactables because it automatically assigns it. But go to your Gorilla Rig, your Gorilla Player, right hand controller. Make sure you've got a Ray uh, XR Interaction Manager on one of these um, hands. Then that should be good. Now on these, if you click on Gizmos, you'll see all the colliders on them. All this is for, all this is just for clicking the buttons. And um, for example, I've changed all the colliders on here, so you can just open them. I've changed them, you can just click it, and then change it to Player, so you can't collide with them. And then... To see if you can't collide with them, go to your project settings, physics. Then you want to see where it says, oh, no, there's no player. Oh, my bad. So you want to um, go to layers, create layer, this. Then create it and then make it player. Just like so. Oh, no. Oh, that's tag. That's my bad. Layers and then player. Then you want to assign that with player untagged then assign the whole thing with player go to um, project settings or player settings then go to physics and make it so player cannot collide with player just take it off <coughs> then another thing to do is go to your player settings and see where it says graphic APIs make sure it doesn't say open gels 3 or whatever it is make sure it's just Vulcan then that should work and then you have a fully working um, live thing in your game, camera mod. But if it doesn't work, um, it's recommended to add um, finger colliders. Which if you would like me to do a tutorial on finger colliders, um, let me know. Or if you want to watch Be Awesomes, it's straight up in the description for finger colliders. Then you make sure that they have the same tag as um, uh, LCK right here. It should be called hand tag and caps collider. And just to show it works, I'll go and play mode for you guys.
uh, once you've got your player over here, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do, such as changing the mode. So, for example, I'm sure this looks weird, but you know, you can change it to this. You can see it's got a button. Hold on, let me just disable that so you can hear it better. As you can see, you can click it. Works. Um, third person works, but it's just front view. As you can see, it's third person. Selfie. FOV works. You have to click it. Now, if it doesn't work the second time, you have to go back. Click it. Back. Oh, sorry. Back. Click it. Back. Oh, click it. So I'm a smoothing. Flip. Basically just flips the camera. As you can see, it flips the camera. So it's the other way. Oh. And the record works too. You gotta click that record button. It makes a sound. As you can see, it's recording. And this little thing indicates of how Jamaica's working, but it doesn't work on PC or Unity itself. Now let's record a little video. Let's just make the monkey dance around a little bit. As you can see. Make him go up like this. Pretty cool. No, it doesn't lag. It looks like it lags in game, but trust me. I've played this on, um, what's it called? As you can see, it's not lagging, basically. But it's just because the game's got some stuff. Alrighty, now once that's done, and you've recorded your video, just head over to your folder. Go to videos, my game album. And as you can see, your video should be here. Mine's right here. Well, this is an old video. But as you can see, it works perfectly. As you can see, I'm trying to flip it around. There you go. I did it. And yeah, that is basically how you add live to your GoTech fan game. If you guys want any more tutorials, um, let me know in the comments below. Join my Discord server. And yeah, hope you guys have a lovely day and goodbye.